Hey everyone! So today we are bringing in the first care video of the new year. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about uh, false hibernation or a hibernation attempt in African pygmy hedgehogs. Uh, and this is Draco. For those of you who don't know, he's not going to hang out with me the whole video. But I figured having a hedgehog in the intro might be fun. He is irritable, <laughs> squirmy, ready to go back to bed, still daytime. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put him in a snuggle sack. He'll come back for the outro for you guys. But I uh, figured you'd all want to say hi. He's getting a bath today. So uh, let's talk about hibernation in African pygmy hedgehogs or domestic hedgehogs. So if you guys have seen any of my heating videos or even my basics video or pretty much most of my videos about hedgehogs, you will know that hedgehogs have to remain between 72 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is because when they become too cold, they actually uh, attempt to hibernate. So while this is a somewhat natural behavior for them, unfortunately, in captivity, they don't build up the same fat reserves that a wild hedgehog would. And uh, this makes hibernation lethal for them. It is incredibly dangerous. So uh, because of that, pet hedgehogs cannot be allowed to get cold, uh, which generally isn't an issue. You know, you use heat lamps or space heaters or things like that to keep them above 72 degrees or 22 degrees Celsius. Um, unfortunately, not only do some pet owners impulse buy hedgehogs and then don't know about their heating requirements, or uh, there are care videos and care sheets that people read that don't discuss heating at all or give the incorrect information about heating. Um, and that can lead to hibernation attempts, which unfortunately, like I mentioned, are quite dangerous. Let's go over what a hibernation attempt will look like. There are a whole list of symptoms that I'm gonna be going over. Uh, I will put them here on the screen for you guys so that you can get a quick rundown of what's going on. But one of the most obvious symptoms is a cold stomach. Hedgehogs will always naturally feel warm. When they go into a false hibernation, everything in their body starts to slow down and that includes their temperature regulation. Uh, so like with humans or other animals, we regulate our own body temperature. Hedgehogs do not. So when they get too cold, their whole body feels cold. So most noticeably, if your hedgehog is attempting to hibernate, you will feel their stomachs being cold, which is a very very unusual thing when holding a hedgehog. Hedgehogs that are attempting to hibernate will also be fairly unresponsive. That means they won't come out of their uh, little ball that they do. And this isn't to be mistaken for like them just being defensive where they'll hiss and pop at you. This is more of a general like lethargic, uh, just can't function correctly kind of tight ball. Um, you Speaking of being lethargic you might notice them being wobbly when they do walk sometimes they fall over they can't really control their motor functions correctly a lot of the time this gets mistaken for whs which i've done a video on before they will also have fairly labored breathing um or heavy breathing and then they'll also have a general lack of appetite and thirst uh, which can lead to dehydration as well if it's let go too long. So if you find your hedgehog in this state, the first step you have to take is warm them back up. Now there are some things that you cannot do to warm them up and that is put them in warm water or put them on an incredibly warm surface uh, like a heat pad on high or something like that. I've heard of people trying to use uh, hair dryers. You have to be careful in how you warm them up because just like people, if you're incredibly cold and then you get warmed up very quickly, your body can go into shock. Hedgehogs can also go into shock. So it's important that you warm them up slowly. And the best and really only method that's recommended to do that is skin to skin contact. So what you do is you place your hedgehog under your shirt, uh, on your skin, it can be uncomfortable, it can be 
painful even. Uh, some people do it over a very thin shirt just to save their skin a little bit from the, the quills, but you really want your hedgehog to feel your body heat. And then you can put a blanket over yourself or your shirt over your hedgehog. Uh, or both and you want to leave your hedgehog resting on your skin until they become Responsive so if your hedgehog is warmed up and has come out of their hibernation attempt You will notice that they will almost immediately start to want to move um, And this is common you really want to keep them with you for as long as you can about a half hour at least even if after say like 10 minutes oh you made a mistake, sir. There's stuff up there. My cat is trying to get... Oh, He was trying to get on top of the hedgehog cage, but I have things stacked up there. <laughs> you really want to keep your hedgehog with you for at least a half hour, even after, say, like 10 minutes they start to want to move again. You uh, really want to make sure that they are thoroughly warmed up and that their body temperature is back to the normal temperature that it needs to be. If this doesn't work and your hedgehog is still unresponsive after about an hour, you really need to contact a vet. Uh, doesn't matter what time of day or night it is, which is why it's important that you have an emergency vet. Uh, it's also important that you have proper heating um, so that you don't get put in this situation. But unfortunately, if your hedgehog is unresponsive after an hour, it needs vet attention because a vet is the only person that is going to be able to help your hedgehog at that point. Um, if your hedgehog has gone extended periods of time in cold, this might happen. It's not very common for it to be so severe that a hedgehog needs vet care, but it does happen. What are you guys doing? Can we just, I mean, really? So after your hedgehog is responsive again and warm, there are some steps that you need to take to keep them from going back into a hibernation attempt because they will most likely do it within about a week. Uh, their systems are still in a lot of turmoil and uh, if they're going to do it again, it is most likely within the next few days that they will try. So uh, one of the first steps that you need to do is make sure that the cage temperature is higher than it was previously, at least by a few degrees. So uh, that's one of the reasons it's important to have a proper heat set up so that you can properly boost the temperature if need be. Another thing you can do is offer food and water. A lot of hedgehogs, uh, depending on how long they've been in the attempt, may not have eaten or drank in a while. So you can offer it. Not all hedgehogs will eat and drink immediately. Some will. It's important to just see if maybe they will. And then of course, the final thing you need to do is monitor your hedgehog. You need to be checking on them regularly, especially their cage temperature and making sure that they are adjusting well. Hibernation attempts can often be a scary topic to discuss in the hedgehog community, but fortunately the best way to avoid having to use this method, this treatment, having to go through this ordeal is to make sure that you have a proper heat set up and that your cage is properly heated to your hedgehog's desired temperature. I have two videos, one recent, one older, that goes over heating for hedgehogs um, and my current setup. I use a CHE setup, which is one of the best setups you can have for a hedgehog. Uh, Second best being a space heater. Having a proper heat setup can avoid the issue altogether. Draco is four years old and has never once attempted to hibernate, which is really nice. I have always kept him properly heated and therefore it is an issue I've never had to deal with with him. So uh, try not to stress out, out about it too much, but make sure that you have your heat uh, properly situated. Even if you have a proper setup, you want to make sure that you are monitoring that setup in case bulbs go out or fuses blow or um, the seasons change and your house naturally gets colder. You want to regularly replace your heat bulbs if you have uh, a heat setup like that. You want to make sure that everything is functioning correctly on a regular basis and have a thermometer in their cage to make sure that they are staying warm enough. 
because ultimately the best way to deal with a hibernation attempt is to avoid them altogether if you can. So that's it from me today. I gotta go give Draco a bath. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have something to add, feel free to leave it down below. Of course, I was a little bit distracted. All of the pets decided to come into the pet room uh, at the same time and bother each other. So <laughs> uh, if I missed something, feel free to leave it down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.